What you've just seen is about a minute and a half with nothing removed of what it must have been like for anyone still in the building after the fire was seen above sea level. Remember that the smoke and flames coming out of the test rig were from contents which were only a fraction of those in the original fire, and they would have been contained inside, making conditions even worse. Samples of gases taken at nose height inside the rig showed that death would have been very swift, and even diluted by ten times as they might have been further away from the fire, they were still highly dangerous. Events happened so fast that we need to look at the film in slow motion to fully appreciate it. But it's all there to see. The spread of flame across the wall. Then the spontaneous ignition of other seats as the fire leapt forward. But it wasn't only fast. This investigation showed that its mechanism was very complex. Standard tests alone could never have established what happened because there were interactions between all the various components. A comprehensive look at these interactions was only possible by using the wide range of expertise at the fire research station, their facilities for small and large scale experiments, and their vast pool of knowledge from past research.